Hello, welcome to today's video. I'm Jason Mitten, and this video will be talking about uh, the cost of labor for building a duplex apartment. Either you are building a four bedroom duplex apartment, five bedroom duplex apartment, or a six bedroom duplex apartment. So, why I'm doing this video is because uh, a lot of you are asking about the cost of labor. I think the cost of labor is also a very important factor to consider before starting up a building project after considering the cost of material so first of all let's go straight to the video uh, going to the site the first thing you're going to be doing uh, after engaging an architect is to get the is to start up with the pegging or the setting out so the setting out fee actually cost uh, at the range of 100,000 to 500,000 depending on the size and the nature of the construction process so this is the amount you are expected to pay at least so depending on the architect also then we have the excavation fee this excavation fee is between the people working on the site how much you are willing to charge you per meter in most times uh, in the east most people are actually charged uh, in partitions but uh, for the excavation we have a price range of 800 naira to 1500 naira per meter so if you are having a total of 300 meters 300 meters as your total building length so if they are charging maybe for 1,500 Naira, you should know that you should be paying up to 4, 450,000 Naira. That is if they are charging for 1,500 Naira. You should know that you should be paying up to 450,000 Naira. So after excavating the, the building uh, foundations, you have to excavate the columns where they are going to put the irons the iron rods your 16 mm rods that is going to run straight up to the top so for each column to excavate it uh, you'll be expected to pay at least 1300 naira so if you're having up to 34 columns or 54, 54 columns as the case may be then you have to multiply 1300 naira to how many uh, columns they are going to dig to get your exact amount you're going to pay for the laborers so we have the pouring of the foundation after the foundation is being excavated we have the pouring of the foundation so to pour the foundation footing first of all with the columns you need to know how many bags of cement are needed for the foundation footing so that's the if you know that okay we are going to have a um, so -so number of uh, bags of cement let me see you, you know that for the foundation footing you're going to need at least 35 bags of cement then how much are the laborers willing to charge for for mixing one bag of cement with the concrete uh that is when i see the concrete mixture we have the sand the cement and the stone so so they may decide to charge one bag not that they may decide to charge in most cases i'm just giving you a case scenario here um they were going to charge 1200 naira for mixing of the cement bag so this is how much they are willing to turn this is how much they are willing to turn the cement and then uh, pour it for you either in your foundation or in your columns or in your ground beams so this is how much they'll be willing to charge to do this so you have to understand the building process that this is what goes on on site and this is how you derive uh, your labor fee from so if you if you think uh, you're getting uh, information i'd like you to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel as i'll be covering most 
uh, details details like this on site that um, you will not actually know on your own so next here is the block work from foundation to dpc level so depending on how many blocks uh, you are going to be laying so normally uh, 60 blocks is called a hand or per hand so for 60 blocks the laborer that is a bricklayer will decide to charge maybe 6,000 naira to lay 60 blocks and then the person serving him will also get a sum of 3,000 naira for each 60 blocks laid so that's the that is how it's been charged so if they lay up to 1,000 if they lay up to 12,000 blocks you know that you're paying 12,000 naira for the bricklayer and the person serving him goes on with 6,000 naira so that's how the labor is being derived so we also have the iron benders the iron bender is also a very important worker on on the site so for each column or lintel placed it charges at least 1,000 naira to 1,500 naira depending on your location and and the nature of the job is going to be doing so you have to know how many columns and how many lintels you have on the site then you know that okay for each column of for each lintel you're going to be paying 1000 naira or 1500 naira as the case may be so you have to know that the the charge i'm talking about here is different from the decking stage so when you go to the decking stage that's where they actually charge high so you have to understand this so you might actually decide to charge you up to between 200,000 to 700,000 on the decking stage that is for the iron bending work it's going to be doing the same thing goes for the carpenters the carpenter can charge the carpenter is charging um for each column and for each lintel so they have their own price range which can go for either 1000 naira or 1500 naira depending on the nature of the job so they can also charge between 200,000 to 700,000 or even more on the decking stage since it's a more complex work to do so this is the nature of uh, charges we have on on the building um, industry and the carpenter and the iron bender also are very important people in the building construction but industry we have the control so who are the control these people are responsible for the controlling of the mortar when you see that the the people serving are pouring the concrete and they are there to control even on the decking level they are so they are also there to control the mortar to make sure that they get uh, exactly uh, what the carpenter has boarded on the form work so they are make sure that if the mortar is 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 is, is okay to get into the the form works and also make sure that the people pouring it are mixing it uh, properly and uh, making it uh, a good mixture so these people can charge uh, from the lintel the foundation the columns so at least you should be expecting to pay them totally for everything they are going to be do this up to 300 to 400 that is you can just budget that and know that okay those guys see how much um, i'll be keeping for them so this is basically everything that happens on site and then we have the people who do the parapet there's the iron bender is also going to be available to work there and then they they give it their charge so uh, once you have this idea this is just basically no bs like what happens on site so uh, if you found it useful Please like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to share the video to your friends and family. 
and if you need an estimator do not forget to give jason a call or my phone number is on the screen so have a nice day god bless you take care bye bye